Welcome or welcome back to Virtual Storytime with Miss Mylea here at the Broadview Public Library. I'm so excited to dive into today's story time with you. Let's get right into it. This week's reading for our story time video is The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. This is a very famous and popular book, so I'm not surprised if you have heard of it already or if you've read it before, but I hope that you will enjoy this read aloud with me. And don't forget that you can also check this book out at the Broadview Public Library. We have it on our shelves and we would love to see you come in and check out this one and also explore the rest of the books in our youth collection with our picture books and our easy readers and our board books and so much more. And don't forget to stop by for an in-person story time as well. With that being said, let's get right into The Rainbow Fish. It's so pretty already, if you can see that glittering off the page. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple. Purple's my favorite color. With sparkling silver scales among them. Look at it, look at it. You can honestly see it sparkling. That's so cool. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. Look at him shimmer. <laughs> One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful. You have so many. You can see them sparkling again. So cool. You can see it on every page. You want to give me one? You want me to give you one of my special scales? That's what the rainbow fish said. Who do you think you are? Cried the rainbow fish. That's funny. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all of his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. Aw. They turned away when he swam by. But look at how he sparkles. That's so sad. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I am really beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to the to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. <gasps> Do you see that octopus? I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales, 
never. How could I ever be happy without them? Hmm. Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please, don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small, shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. I think he's going to share. What do you think? You see, he's still shimmering. But look, it looks like he's giving one away. Let's read. Let's see. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. That's so nice of him. Thank you. Thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. Wow, do you spot something different? I do. Let's read on and see what happens. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. Everybody wants one. The rainbow fish started the rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Then you can actually see other fish glittering with the scales that he gave away. That is very nice of the rainbow fish to share. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and Happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Can you see how happy and shiny he is with the rest of his friends that are shiny and glimmering because he shared? That is so sweet. And on the last page here we see, can you see it? <laughs> the glimmering fish shining still. And I love that. And you can see this book in person and all the shiny parts and learn about the magic of sharing with the rainbow fish. So don't forget to come and pick this book up at the Broadview Public Library. And thank you for joining me for today's story time. This one was so fun. Stay tuned for our next virtual story time with Miss Mylia here on our YouTube channel for Broadview Public Library. And don't forget to stop in if you want to check out any of the books that we're reading in this virtual story time experience. See you next time.